Whoa, leather story time. In 2023, we all thought you died. Yeah, well, Sigma male tip for you all. Never say you'll never do something ever again. There is always another creepypasta I want to do, apparently. So this series didn't end, it's just being spread thin on a cellular level. I wanted to do a short as hell video to piss off my audience even further by looking at a creepypasta that's like a paragraph long, but it's a historical paragraph. See, this isn't just any old creepypasta, it's quite possibly the first ever Jeff the Killer creepypasta. I know that because the story was posted on Newgrounds in 2008 and it is called Killer Jeff. And it has the classic Jeffrey photo. So how can I be wrong? Admittedly, I found this creepypasta because of the recent search for the original unedited Jeff photo, which as of right now is still ongoing. But that doesn't matter today because I want to look at the text. Everyone loves text. It's why we have phone. So the words here, they start by saying the story of old Jeff. I mean, this post is nearly 15 years of age, so yeah, it is old. It continues. It describes Jeff saying he enjoys horror, such as ghost stories, comma, or slasher films, comma, have you met him in person? Okay, so they clarified. It's specifically the ghost stories and slasher films horrors. Th that's good, and here I was thinking he made horror in Nuclear Throne. Thank God it's actually just ghost stories and slasher films that he horrors. All that being said, can't say I've ever met him in person. Probably because he doesn't exist. And I'm very far away from a place that has Jeff as a normal name. The story continues, saying that he is what other people call bizarre. Absolutely understandable, I think. He doesn't look a regular man. And according to what he does later in the creepypasta, certainly he does not behave like a regular human being. I'll tell you that for free. Moving on, it says he's like a Bloody Mary game. Uh, this is a fucking ritual creepypasta. I, I can't fucking believe it. Throws my hat on the ground and stomps it with one foot with dust particles coming out of the ground each time I stomp it. I mean, yeah, I guess he is like a Bloody Mary game in that sense. That's like, that's a weird way of putting that. That's like saying, oh, my buddy Keith. Yeah, he's sort of like a human being. Okay, so ritual creepypastas are kind of weird because they're instructions on how to do something that either kills you. Oh, but if you do it correctly, you get something stupid like a fucking range and shot speed upgrade. And buddy, in some of them, you don't even get anything by doing the right thing. This is a terrible deal. I'm taking my briefcase full of money to some other abandoned asylum. Thank you very much. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, uh, Call of Jeff. Uh, so first you go in a closet turn off the lights and sit cross-legged. Then you say, he's here with me three times. Close your eyes and call out the name Jeff. That's a strange way to phrase that. Does that mean any kind of call to Jeff works? Can I just say, hey, dumbass, the closet's over here. I know you have trouble seeing, don't trip over anything. As a side note, it says you gotta close your eyes, but it's already dark in there considering you're in a closet with the lights turned off. Then again, the pasta doesn't specify that you have to close the closet doors or turn off the lights in the adjacent room. So I guess that's how you'd be able to see him in the dark. After all, Pasta says what happens next is that he'll appear by putting his face right up to you. By putting his face right up- that, That's not a legitimate explanation for instant teleporting, sir. It also says that he will proceed to yell and chant harm at you? What are you talking about, man? Chant harm at me? Does, does he just repeat the word harm over and over again? Is this like a bird mating ritual? What, are you, what the fuck are you talking about? Continuing the pasta. Uh, to make him stop is to stand there and compliment him. Huh? Why is a sentence in algebra? You phrase that like it was an equation. Okay. Not doing so will result in a nightmarish field trip. Well, this sentence is vague. That, that could mean a lot of things. Every field trip is a nightmarish field trip to me. I fucking hate going places and changing my coordinates in space and... Moving in a speed. Ugh. The final sentence of the pasta is, you do the rest from there, Worms. Man, I say this every time I play alongside a computer team in Worms Armageddon. An absolutely comprehensive sentence to cap off the entire story. People really just wrote whatever the fuck back then. Now that it's over, I have to be fair, picking off individual sentences and talking about each one is gonna make the story feel way more nonsensical than it actually is. When it's all read at once, it's not so bad. The creepypasta is just a little silly is all. I, uh, this isn't the Voynich manuscript. We get the gist of the story. There's no need to be scared. No need to call 911. It's fine. With that being said, it's rare that I come across a creepypasta where I have a question for almost every single sentence I read. So I think that's great. I enjoy that. And with that, I rate this work of fiction a, a memorable out of a life-changing. Thanks for watch. Buy my video games. I, I swear one day I'll make at least one that's worth buying and actually be for sale at the same time. All right, thanks everybody, goodbye.